let's go ahead and get started here by talking about how to download a video file or an mp3 file onto our local uh, machine. So a lot of us use tablets with Windows 8 on them that may not have internet connectivity. So when we're at home or the office and we want to download, let's say, some videos or MP3 files that we want to listen to from, from a website, we want to be able to do that and view them in an offline mode. Even if we have a modem or some form of connectivity, <laughs> modem, that's an old term, if we have some form of connectivity uh, wireless card built into our tablet, we still are going to need the, the um, ability to view these things offline. So let's go ahead and get started here. That's the whole premise of this video. Let's go ahead and just download, doesn't really matter, let's just say mobility, bring your own device. And we're going to click on this MP4 file. And you'll notice here, down on the right hand side, you'll see open and save. We're going to go ahead and hit save at this point. And now um, it says that the, the download has completed and it wants us to open it. We're going to say close because I want to show you how we can actually open these and then see them uh, for later use within our video section of Windows 8. So as we open our videos application, and this is on your Windows 8 uh, menu, just go to videos, we see the standard stuff right here uh, that we see spotlight, television. This is pretty st standard in a Windows 8 configuration. Then we see our own videos that we may have downloaded or made available. Let's go ahead and although you can't see it, I apologize on the screen, it's just a little bit uh, too short. Let me see if we can, oh yeah, we can move it over. There we go. So now we can see here where it says my video. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And here you see that we have multiple videos, although the video that we just downloaded is not here. So let's go ahead and find that video and transfer it so that you always know that your video will appear right here in your My Video section. So remember, before we go to that video section, remember all we did was we clicked on a video here in this website and down here where it said Open or Save, we said Save. So let's go ahead and find that video. So the first thing we want to do uh, is return back to the Windows desktop and from the Windows, excuse me, to the Windows Start menu. And then from here we want to click on our desktop. So let's go ahead and click on the desktop itself and then let's go ahead and um, we'll close these windows here real quick so we can kind of get a better view of what's going on and so apologize for the the mess there but we just do a right click here and say file explorer and file explorer then will pull up our file explorer for us now let's go ahead and find where these downloads are so if we click here on downloads we'll see the video right here, mobility, bring your own device. That's the video we want. At this point, we can just drag that video right into videos. Just drag it right there. Then if you click on videos, now we'll look through, these are the videos that we saw in our videos app, and there is mobility. So let's go into the Windows 8 interface and make sure that this shows up in videos for us. Now if you notice here, we're back in the videos, and we see mobility BYOD. And again, if you're here, you know, you come into uh, your videos, all of your videos. Here we just flip all the way to the right and we see here mobility BYOD. It's eight minutes, 52. We can also click on my videos here and see it. And when we select it, the movie of the KISS TV, TV episode will start for us and we can go ahead and go through and figure out anything that we want. I know we bounced around quite a bit in this brief video, so I wanna just review it again real quick with you. Remember, you find a video that you want, you simply select on that video. We go down here and we select Save. When we hit Save, then we go back to our desktop, so we hit Save, we get the confirmation that the download has completed. Just remember, download should be a hint on where you need to go next. We go back out to our desktop here and our start menu and we select our desktop. From our desktop then we just simply do a right click on this folder and we click on, um, we could just click on download but we're going to just click on file explorer 
here we see our downloads right here and we just drag here it is right here we drag the video over into our videos we return to our start menu here and we see our videos right here we click on our videos and we see our standard videos right that are coming with just whatever and then we go up here and we look for our videos that are here now sometimes you have to refresh it or give it just a minute here it is right here here's that second episode of kiss tv now um, i'm going to go ahead and stop here because this is using the um, desktop right we use desktop to do our transfer here in the next video we're going to do the very same thing but we're going to use a program called filebrick in order to move those videos so please tune into the other episode